Hey guys, that is Snows with Crypto Marie, local and international. This is what Scott Jennings responded, one of the commentators to CNN, which I can't stand, he's an idiot. Uh, when Anderson Cooper asked him what was his feeling about the whole thing that happened at Madison Square Garden in New York City at Trump's rally, this is what he said, yeah, I don't like it, I don't like it one bit. Jenny responded, I am not going to sit here and pretend like it's good or helpful. He criticized the rally's hateful rhetoric as stupid, a distraction, and offensive. But he then turned the issue on Vice President Kamala Harris claiming the Democratic nominee also has supporters from the entertainment industry who said vile and offensive things in the context of politics. One thing I realize, whenever the Republican Party slash mega cult realize something vile, something dumb and stupid was said towards VP Kamala Harris, they would say, no, that was not right. I don't agree with it. And turn around and double take on, but you know what? We're not the only one did it. They do it too. They do it worse. It is such a hypocrisy move. Like if you're going to make a move, Stay on that positive talk. Stay on that positive move. Don't be positive in one second and turn around, double take on a negative as if VP Kamala Harris is the one spewing negative things. No. Trump supporters, Elon Musk, J.D. Vance, Trump himself, we have the, uh, the stupid idiot they fired because he cost them so much money. Uh, what the hell is his name? They let him go. Now he's with Elon Musk. Those idiots. This guy is calling VP Kamala Harris from some African country and calling her name. They call her the C word. Like what in the hell is going on? For Trump to say VP Kamala Harris campaign was the negative one, was the one insinuating violence when every second of his shit is the one posing threat to democracy and freedom. Calling people out of their name. Are you crazy? Out of are you out of your fucking mind? You guys are spewing all kind of violence out there. I just cannot wait for this shit to be over with. I am so stressed right now. Cause this election is the biggest and the Republicans slash mega call are trying so hard to steal it from VP Kamala Harris. But based on the uh, and the crowds, based on people that are voting for her, I promise you. We are going to win. You're going to fight. We're going to fight harder. The Republican Party is going to have to go back and start from scratch because the mega cult give them a bad name for themselves.